it is, boys. Whaley House. Huh. I thought it'd be bigger. It's big enough for ghosts. You know, everything compared to you is small, Mead House. You guys know this place used to be a morgue? You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, dead serious. Wow. It's one of the reasons why it's so friggin' haunted. And the fact that, you know, so many people died here. That helps. Well, um, I've seen enough. I think we should get back before your sister finds out we're gone, Casey. Go back? Yeah. But we have to go in first. Besides, she's busy porking shit-ass Steve. We have plenty of time. But the house is locked, Casey. And I forget my neighbor. I need it. Breathing's for gays, dude. Besides, I just so happen to have the key. Wait, is that one of those rocks with the key hidden inside? You know, the hideaway rock? Is it a hideaway rock? No, it's a regular rock. I throw it, we get in. No, that's vandalism, dude. Get Simon to do it. Fuck you, fat boy. OK, come on, guys. We walked all this way. We got to see inside. Then let's come back and take the damn tour. We can get some souvenirs and shit. You know we don't have any money. OK, man. If you throw that rock in there, and you do something and piss off all the ghosts, then what? Mm -hmm. Then we see them. And that's exactly what we came here for. Oh, my god. You know what? Uh, you do this, Meat House. Your arms are fatter than mine. It's muscle cancer, Tooth, and I'm not going to jail for some stupid-ass ghost. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not about to do it. I'd rather be at home watching the rest of the Fucci Marathon. Fucci is an artistic abortion. Argento is the way to go, man. Shut up, you fat Louis Anderson-looking motherfucker. OK, fine. I'll do it. I guess it's a man's job anyway. Wouldn't want one of you ladies to break a nail. Hey, that was only one time. Now what? Now? Get a few shots. What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to America's Most Haunted House. If you're all ready, we'll get started. Right this way. in the piano room. When Thomas and Anna Whaley first built the house, they planned to run part of it as a business, which was in this room. It was called Whaley and Crosswaith's General Store. His partner, Philip Crosswaith, was once the deputy sheriff of San Diego. And it just so happens that he was the man who tightened the noose around Yankee Jim Robinson's neck, who was hanged here when the public gallows occupied the grounds, allegedly. Right this way, everyone. The 
Whaley House was also the site of the first commercial theater in all of San Diego. The ghost of a little girl has been seen in here on several occasions. Nobody really knows who she is. Some think that she's the great-granddaughter of Thomas Whaley, but still a mystery. Whoa, whoa, did, did, did you see that? Wait, never mind. Anyway, let's continue on, everyone. Now, I have been asked if I've ever seen anything before. And the answer to that is no. <laughs> Actually, to be quite honest, I'm pretty skeptical of the whole thing. Now, I'm not saying that I don't believe in ghosts. I just haven't been convinced either way. I'm sorry, but I don't know how you, you don't believe that this house isn't haunted. Excuse me? I've been seeing things for the past 20 minutes. Am I alone here? You're kidding. You're kidding. This house is haunted as fuck. Well, what have you seen? Maybe you've just mistaken something. No, no, I haven't mistaken anything. I've been seeing ghosts. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Can you get her some water, please? <coughs> Okay, kiddo. Yeah, yeah, I just kind of stunned. No kidding. But you were great, though. Thanks. It happens all the time. Really? Believe it or not, someone has a reaction to this house and they have to be wheeled away to the hospital. Why? Well, it's this damn house. It does things to people. You've been here, what, dear, four months? I I've been working here over 30 years. Trust me, I know how to deal with this house. How to deal with it? Well, walk with me while I close the place up. I don't think we're going to be doing any more tours today. You know, Penny, when I first started working here, my predecessor gave me three rules to live by. And I think, I think maybe it's time I shared those with you. So rule number one, don't call the ghosts out. They hate that. Rule number two, don't damage the house. They're very territorial. And rule number three, Never, never go inside the house at night. That is their time reserved for them alone. You know I don't believe in ghosts, right? <laughs> I used to be just like you, Penny. Used to think it was all a big tourist trap. So what changed your mind? Just because you don't believe in ghosts doesn't mean they don't believe in you. You know, Penny, dear, you know who you remind me of? No. Who? Did, did you ever wonder why you ended up working here, despite the fact that you don't believe in ghosts? Uh, ghosts had nothing to do with it, OK? I just lucked into it. I needed a job to help pay my way through med school, and this is where I ended up. Hmm. Well, maybe it was meant to be. What was meant to be? Oh, nothing. Just my, my mind wandering. Anyway, look, you go on home now, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, OK?
Right. So that's what I think is the most crucial element. Oh my god. I agree. I mean, have you actually seen the nipples on an Indian woman? Are we really talking about this right now? Okay, honey, please, please. The men are trying to talk, so. I think the width and the girth of the areola are just as important as the size of the breast. You know, adds majesty to the woman. Definitely. A fantastic set of nipples can literally define a woman. Guys, will you please shut up? I think it goes back to when we were babies. Okay, I think I know where we're going with this, so let's just uh, stop talking about it. Baby. I'm a scientist. Please. See, the thing is, is we want to marry our mothers. What? It's true. And we seek out nipples that are similar to the ones that we suckled. Yeah, oh, Lord. Penny's nips? Just like my mother's. What? Shut <laughs> up! Ouch, ouch. You need me to do that to you? No, I'm, oh, I'm okay. good. No. There you go. No. Guys, can we change the subject now? Yes, let's. How was everyone's day? Some Taurus freaked out of the house today. No shit? Yeah, it was weird. Freaked out how? Started going to seizures and foaming at the mouth. You're joking. Nope. And apparently it happens all the time. My boss blames it on the house like it's poison or something. I don't know how you can work in that place. It's not that bad. Not that bad. It's haunted as fuck. Well, if I ever see anything, I'll let you know, Greg. Yeah, but go shit. It can't be real. It just doesn't make sense. Well, just because we don't understand it, I mean, it doesn't mean it isn't real. Right. I mean, it took a hell of a lot of time to figure out gravity, right? Actually, I don't think that's the case. Okay, I mean, millions of people have experienced the paranormal. Okay, yet one witness is enough to send someone to death row? I'd rather be talking about nipples. <laughs> Look, ghosts are real, and the Whaley House is really haunted. Why, because TV says so? <laughs> are you saying the TV lies to me? Oh, no, 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 honey balls. TV is your master. Right. All I'm saying is that weird stuff happens there, but I just can't buy that ghost so real. It doesn't make sense. Penny, you work in the mornings, right? Sometimes. Wait. Wait. Craig, what are you thinking? So you open the doors and you lock up at night? Sometimes. OK, now, I don't want to make an ass out of you and me, but is it safe to assume that you have a set of keys to the Whaley house, or at least access to them? Yeah. But Wait a minute. Oh my God, Craig. Oh, that's such a great idea. No, no, it's not. A private tour of the most haunted house in America. What do you say, Penny? It, wait, no. Wait, wait, what? Guys, I can get fired. Come on, sweetie, what do you say? We'll be on our best behavior? Just, just a couple of hours, Pen. I can call my cousin and borrow some stuff. He's like Q Branch for ghost hunters. Guys, if anything breaks, I'm liable, and I need this job. Oh, my God. No one is going to find out. We'll be careful. We're not doing this, right? God, first you drag us to the set of Thriller, and then you want to take us to a haunted mansion? What's wrong with you? <clears throat> hey, Penny. You know, it's, um, it's your call. Pretty please. Okay. No, but only for a little bit, all right? Yes! But just to prove to you guys that there's nothing there. Just okay. in and out, okay? What's gonna happen? Yeah, we'll just do the old in and out. Hey, <laughs> hey Ray Ray. Guess what we're doing tonight?
place is creepy as fuck. It's just an old house. <gasps> they say you could hear the footsteps of Thomas Whaley pacing out of his bedroom. Why are you whispering? Are you Chris? Cousin. Twice removed. <laughs> hey, black ass gray! White ass gray! <laughs> this is dope as shit, brother! Yeah? How did you pull this off? Penny, she works here, man. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I kind of brought a friend. Who? <laughs> Keith Drummond. At your service, young friend. The famous Keith Drummond? The one and only, young man. The one and only. <laughs> World famous. If you don't mind. Tour section. Oh, really? Well, someone here's an Aries. Ah, there you see. <laughs> now, enough chit chat. Let me at those darn ghosts. Drummond, I thought it was just gonna be us. Are you serious? He's a psychic. He's been on like every ghost hunting show on TV, even that short lived crippled kids one. Me back. What do you want from me? Yes, yes. All right. want this and I can give it to you it'll help Be careful with the floor, please. As a matter of fact, be careful with everything, guys. Sorry. You know what? Here are some ground rules, okay? No touching anything. No taking anything. No rifling through papers or breathing on anything, guys. Come on, everything is really fragile. Pen, pen, relax. Hey, what'd you bring me? The works, baby. Ooh. 
first and foremost, digital voice recorder. Ooh, EVP, nice. What's EVP? It's a fancy term for recording ghost voices on tape. See, the recorder picks up frequencies the human ear can't detect. So if they're talking, we'll hear them. Yeah, but does that really work? Google it. You'll hear things that'll turn your asshole white. <laughs> laser thermometer. You can measure temperatures all over, or you can spot temp with the laser. Good for pointing out code spots. And the piece de resistance. The EMF meter. Motherfucker. EMF? Electricians use them, but ghost hunters do too. It's a commonly held belief that ghosts disrupt the electromagnetic field, so you can use these things like metal detectors. But for ghosts? Right as rain. You didn't bring the full spectrum camera? Dumbass Save dropped it on a tombstone a few nights ago. <sighs> that sucks. It's OK. Shit ass Steve is going to fix it. So what do we do now? Just walk around, or? We could. But I'd like to try an oldie but goodie first. What's that for? Ah, oh. there we are. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Guys, we really shouldn't be doing this. Will you please relax, Giselle? No, I'm not doing this. I'm not a part of this. OK, everyone. One finger lightly on top. We are speaking to the Whaley family or any earthbound entity in this house. We would like to communicate with you. My finger's starting to cramp up a little already. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. Hey, it's called rheumatoid arthritis, all right? Guys, we need to focus. No, we need to get the fuck out of here. Penny, you work here. Maybe you should ask a question. What should I ask? I don't know. Maybe something only the ghost would know. Yes or no questions. Um. OK. Did Violet Whaley die in this house? Move the glass. If yes, spirit. <laughs> that was Craig. I swear to God it wasn't me. No, that was you, Craig. I know it was. No, I, I know you think I'm lying because I'm an asshole, but I swear to God I didn't move that. All right, guys, fingers back on. We've got someone here. You're on Penny. OK, Violet died in this house, but did she shoot herself here, too? Move in a circle if no, and a straight line if yes, spirit. in the head? No. That's right. 
shot herself in the heart. That's so sad. Why? Um, her husband abandoned her after two weeks of marriage, so she went outside and shot herself. Thomas Whaley heard the gunshot, and he went out and brought his daughter in the house. She died in that chair. Of course she did. <laughs> okay, guys, I am getting increasingly freaked the fuck out here. We've got someone hanging on here. Can we please focus? Is this Violet Whaley? Are you still there, spirit? Are you a ghost? Are you a moron? I'm a little nervous right now. Are you still here? It likes you. Ask it something else. Um, are you a whaley? Okay, but which one? All of them. Interesting. How so? You know when you walk into a darkened movie theater and it seems empty because it, you can hardly see anything. But there are other people there watching you, sitting in the dark. That's how it feels. I just need to get adjusted to the dark. You want to look around? Yes, yes, I think we should. Is it okay? Fine. Fine? Really? Because this is kind of crazy right now, Penny. 30 minutes tops, guys, okay? I've been looking forward to this. The Whaley House barred its doors to paranormal investigators for years. So tonight, I'll be the first one to peek behind its veil. <laughs> Quite a feather in my cap, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. You can wait here alone if you want. Well, shit, when you put it like that, Of course we're going out, but I gotta take care of something first. This place looks haunted. She's dead. Puffy. Puffy. Who's Puffy? Come here, baby. Come here, Puffy. Is that a monster or something? Puffy. Look what Papa got. Look. Puffy. Can we go have sushi at a nice restaurant now? Yeah, in a minute. Really? Baby? Puff? <sighs> All right, I'm just gonna go before I get murdered. Babes, hold on. Babes. Hey, babes, where'd you go? Babe. Come on now, we, we getting ready to go. You just wait a second. Hello? Who's there? Who's out there? I 
can't see you. Are you hurt? Oh, fuck that shit. This is the Whaley House. Time is 10.30. We are proceeding to the second floor. When you see a ghost, what does it look like? I'm just curious. I see them like I see you. Sometimes they whisper and feel me, just like in the movies. But usually they're solid. Just another state of being. You get me? Kind of like how water turns to steam, you know? Ah. Hello? Who's there? This is so cool. <laughs> Convinced yet? About what? <laughs> oh, come on. That glass thing down there was crazy. Okay. No, 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 stop. You cannot tell me that it was like some sort of... That was tra- right. That was right, okay? It had to be. No way. I mean, how would he know all that stuff about Violet and Whaley? Look, I was on the spot, okay? I couldn't think of any obscure info on the house, and Violet was on my mind, so I asked about her. But the thing is, you can find all that stuff out online, or by taking my tour. Look, it wasn't a ghost, okay? It was probably just real. God, I love you. <laughs> okay, Scully. Probably just the wind. This is the heart of the house. The vortex? You see? It's 10 degrees cooler where you're standing. What? No way. That's not normal, right? Sometimes a ghost presence or a vortex can create cold spots. What's a, uh... A vortex? For lack of a better word, it's a doorway in and out of this reality, usually found at the heart of haunted locations. There's someone here. Tom? Thomas? Is that your name? (laughs) Tom? Thomas? Talk to me. Speak to me, please. looking at us like that because he's standing right behind you oh. <laughs> that's not funny right i 
wasn't joking. <laughs> Does that mean that there's something there? That means there's something there. We'd like to speak with you, sir. Yes. Yes. Bang the wall again for me, Thomas. Yes. Yes. Once for no, and twice for yes. Okay? Are you bound to this house? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was that was a no? He's free roaming. Are there others with you, Thomas? Are you here with your family? This can't be happening. Thomas, if you're not bound to the house, can you tell us why you're here? Can you whisper it into my ear? Hey, did, did Thomas Whaley die in here? No, he died at his second house in San Diego. His wife, Anna, and some other relatives did die here, though. That's why he's here. That's why he returns, why he protects his house. His loved ones are trapped here, bound to this world. He's here to look over them. And they don't like us being here. Okay, I'm done. Let me go. <clears throat> Giselle, please. No, Craig, go fuck yourself. This guy doesn't like us being here, so I'm going. Ugh, just stop being such a baby. Keep us here and you'll be fucking fine. Oh, why is that? Is he like ghost bulletproof or something? <laughs> On the contrary, my child. They've come after me first. They can attack me spiritually. And they know it. Oh, great. Oh, hell no! <sighs> what the fuck, Ray? You all need to hear this shit. That's a class A EVP if I ever heard one. <laughs> Fuck me. How is that possible? Oh, crap. What's wrong with Seal? Keith, are, are you channeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. There's someone else here. It's not Thomas. It's the missus of the house. What was that? Anna says hi. Come sit with me, Anna. You don't mind them sitting on your bed, do you? That's right. Come over here. I won't hurt you. Let's be friends. She's there? She's here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Huh? Me? What about me? No, what about me? She's gone. You were pointing at me. Why? 
She recognizes you. <laughs> she recognized me. Maybe because you work here? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's gotta be it. Hold up. Listen. You all hear that shit? Yeah, I, I think everybody heard that shit. Dude, this, this could get us like a show on Sci-Fi Channel or something. We should be filming this. <laughs> I think I just shit myself a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. Giselle, don't camp. Those can't hurt you. Actually, they, they can't. There was this case in 1987. Okay, you know where what? This I, I think Giselle's right. We've overstayed our welcome. They're just trying to get our attention. This is a terrible way to spend a Saturday night. Looking for ghosts? Walking around an old house in the dark? What the fuck is that all about? It's stupid. If ghosts were real, it wouldn't matter when you looked for them. Well, the theory is. Fuck the theory! They can have this shitty ass house to themselves. They don't have to go around slamming doors in my face or trying to scare the shit out of me. Should I call them? I'm calm, Vanessa. I am super calm. I just want to get the fuck out of this house. Where are the stairs? They're down that way. What? Don't look at me. She's your friend. Hey, you'll be thanking us when we're making bank off our ghost hunting show. No shit. No, I mean for the house. This isn't good for the house. <sighs> no way, man. We need to we need to call for help, right? Right? Penny, let me see your phone. Penny! happening right now. Just shut up, Greg. Listen, both of you, shut up. What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? What are you talking about? Who are you going to call? I'm going to call 911. No, no, you can't do that. Am I crazy? Get the fuck off me. Are you fucking crazy? Don't be an idiot, man. Give me that. The fuck off. Fuck off. Craig. Fuck Craig. Fucking serious, man. Craig, man, what are you doing? Don't you guys fucking get it? It'll look like we killed her. Are you crazy? Apparently, I'm the only one processing the situation correctly here. You're such a fucking asshole. I'm an asshole? Yeah, you. We broke into a house. And our friend fell down the stairs, right? Who's gonna buy that shit? 
If we don't call, they'll think we did it. No, no, no. Listen, uh, we get out of here. We make it look like she snuck in by herself and fell down the stairs while walking around in the dark. That way, none of us get any shit for this. I am doing this for all of you. And we need to get our stories straight, otherwise they're gonna pin this shit on us. What in the name of God are you talking about? It was an accident. <sighs> an accident. You think they're gonna believe that? Innocent people go to jail all the time. Our friend is dead and you wanna argue about whether or not we should call for help? I'm just trying to be realistic, Pat, okay? This looks really bad. We're not even supposed to be here. No, this is your idea. Well, you didn't have to let us in. You could have just said no. You're just as responsible for this. Yes, hello, my name is Penny Abbott, and I'm at the Whaley House. Did you say the Whaley House? Yes, there's been an accident, my friend. She fell down a flight of stairs and... I'm sorry, I can't hear you too well, ma'am. Did you say an accident? Yes, yeah, my friend, she fell, she fell down a flight of stairs. Ma'am, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Hello? Ma'am, are you there? I'm gonna... Hello, I'm here, can you hear me? Ma'am, we'll send some... My friend! Oh, come on! What happened? My battery died. That happens. Sometimes a spirit will drain battery power from cameras, meters, even flashlights. They feed off it. What do you got the grab with that ghost shit? Did you at least get through? I don't know. Well, did you or didn't you? What do you mean? What... I, I don't know, okay? I, I spoke with someone, but I, I don't know if they could hear me. I don't I don't know. What? Probably better that way. Hey, you shut the fuck up, man! I was trying to help. Fucking idiot. Both of you, just stop, okay? through this house. It's omnipotent. Your poor friend's death has strengthened them. Strengthened them how? saying blood has been spilt when we die we open the doorway to the next world for our soul like the vortex no the vortex is always open and weaker but a fresh death tears the next world open wait what are you saying man your friend's death Not just your friend. There has been. There has been more blood spilt on the property. More blood? What, what about that woman who spazzed out earlier this afternoon? She, she's not dead. She was alive when they took her to the hospital. I see a woman and two men right there. Oh, shit! Their deaths has opened the portal wide 
wider than ever, and they're keeping it open, drawing strength from both sides. No, he is. I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Whaley. He can finally bring his family over to the other side. The portal has allowed them a way out, but he's propping it open for some reason. I'm afraid they aim to do us harm. of her. Not this again. Yeah, enough of this. I'll smash a window. Shh. Stand still. Do you all feel that? What? Portal, my young friends. It was trying to close, but it can't. So it's affecting our reality. Shit! They broke my equipment! You okay, man? No, I am not okay. Do you know how expensive this shit is? You just can't run down to Walmart and buy a, a tri-field meter. Damn it! Now some stupid ass ghost has to come and break my shit? Cousin, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Fuck you, ghost. Do you hear me? Right. Who the hell you think you are breaking a man's shit? Do you know how hard I work for the, I work a minimum wage job to afford this shit and you're just gonna come and break it? Fuck you. Ray, be careful. They're listening. Good! I hope they hear me! Damn ghost can suck my dick! Come on, ghost, where are you? Come on now, bang on the wall now, motherfucker! Ray, stop it! Don't call them out! You'll make them angry! Good! Where are you? Where are you? Ten years I've been looking for you! Ten years and nothing! Oh, maybe a noise here, maybe a whisper there, but that's all crap. Right. If you're there, I want to fucking see you. Here Don't I am. Don't do that. Come and get me, motherfucker. No, no, the 
doors are locked solid. Yeah, it's like a meat locker back there. Are you seriously going back up there? Well, yes. We have to talk to them. Ask for their forgiveness. Maybe they let us out if we plead for mercy. Plead for mercy? What about all that power of Christ compels you stuff? Shouldn't we be able to force them to let us go? They're not like that. They aren't evil. <laughs> they aren't. They aren't evil. Ray is dead, okay? Giselle is dead. Uh, no, no. They're just desperate. Desperate for what? You. But I'm not sure why. You guys can stay here if you want. I'm going up to find out. Wiley family, we come as friends. Where can we speak? Fucking demon or something? Okay, stay with me, okay? Okay, I thought you said they were just ghosts. It wasn't a whaley. Stay with me, okay? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He said his name was Santiago. Yankee Jim. Who's Yankee Jim? He was hanged on the property when it was the gallows. He was too tall for the noose, so he stood on his tiptoes when they dropped him. It took him hours to die. His real name was Santiago, and he's supposed to be one of the resident ghosts. So what? So he's not human anymore? What, what the fuck? He told me he died bad, he stayed bad. Stay out! Stay back! Santiago, is that you? Oh 
He's gone. Well, he was sure as shit there a fucking minute ago. I think it's exhausted itself with the door. It needs to rest. Why is he an it? If he was if he was human once, why is he an it? He died bad. On the wrong side. What is that stuff? Purified and blessed sea salt. With powdered angelica root. Helps to protect against negative energy. Who oh, is that gonna keep them outside? It should work. place before? Yeah. I'd say it's haunted. Oh yeah? Yeah. You get a bunch of prank calls about this place? No. This might be the first one. Looks like it's been ransacked. Any ghosts? Let's go around back. Look. Probable cause. Go. SDPD! DPD, who's here? Bodies. Pretty sure they wouldn't have a pulse if I checked anyway. You wanna call again? I got it. We are so fucked right now. And I, I mean like. Shh, shh. I mean, like, fuck. Shut up, shut up. Listen. Like, really? Listen, fucked. listen. Just. This is the San Diego Police Department. Is anybody sick or injured in the house? Dispatch, this is Officer Downs. Come back. Dispatch, do you copy? Is it wonky? Signal's doing something. Try yours. Hey, hey! Put the guns out! Put the gun down! Put your hands up! I was the one that called you guys, okay? All right, come down here. Keep your hands where we can see them. There are more of us. One of us is hurt. I got it. Okay, you go. I got them. Where is he going? Ma'am? Ma'am, San Diego Police, are you all right? Ma'am, are you hurt? Okay, hold it, you two. Where's your friends? Go, 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 go. Gates! Gates, what is it? What's he doing? Cooler with that stuff, man. <sighs> Shit. You think chairs are gonna keep those fuckers out, man? This is magic, dude. This'll work. This is ridiculous. What the fuck? Dispatch, come back over. Dispatch. Still not working? No, it isn't. Backup will be here soon, though, right? I mean, you guys can't just fall off the map, huh? Yeah, if we don't check in within a half hour, they send another squad car out. I hope it's not too long. Vanessa isn't doing very well. But, 
but she'll be okay, right? No. No, she's not. I know you're there. I know you are. Who's there? Right back. She looks like Lisa. Hey, this salt stuff will protect us in here, right? Yes, unless there's something in here already. Sweetheart. <laughs> Wait, sweetheart. Keith, okay? Right, he can take it down when he gets back. Just here, help me. Please. <laughs> hey, I think there might be something wrong with your friend. Hey, baby, are you okay? <laughs> Give us our friend back. Be careful. She is not yours. Ours. She too. Stay calm. I'm 
getting the fuck out of here. I'm not gonna wait for these fucks to kill us all. Craig, wait. I'm gonna break this fucking window. Craig! Where'd you go, child? I know you're up here. Don't be afraid. You know, I had a daughter once. She was so beautiful. I had a smile that would make my day. Her name was Lisa. She's gone now, too. She was hit by a car. Her and her mummy. A long time ago. I miss my little girl very much. I remember the hugs the best. May I give you a hug? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Where'd you go, sweetheart? Where are you, sweetheart? Do that to Craig. <laughs> Jesus, Vanessa! Vanessa, just, just stop it, okay? Sweetie, please, please. Vanessa, 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 Vanessa. Put the gun down. Vanessa, don't. <laughs> don't, babe. Vanessa, what are you doing? Just, just stop it, okay? She won't let me. She wants it to be like Violet. of a broken heart. 
me too. I give up. No, 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 don't, don't, don't you, don't you stay there. Don't you stay there. Okay, we can get out of this. There's a fire. There's a hatch in the attic. There's a fire escape. But maybe we can rip it from whoa. the wall. Whoa, whoa. What? It must have been Keith. Then he's up here.
Betty, Betty, are you in there? Ma'am, stay back. Betty, no, 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 I need to stay. stay. Back. I need to Trust stay. Me. Oh my this God! Is, oh God! What is it? Betty, Betty, Betty. Oh, Betty. 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 Oh, Betty. 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 Are you going to be okay, ma'am? No, no. I'm not. Not for a very long time. We'll need you to come down and make a statement at the station. Does it have to be this second? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Are you okay to drive, or would you like a ride? I can drive. Just give me a moment to close up the house. Does that hurt? Baby, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Goodbye, Penny, dear. Bethany, thank God. Damn this house. She wasn't yours to take. They didn't take me, Bethany. I'm right here. They didn't take me yet. They're all gone now. I'm right here. They're all gone now. I'm, I'm here. You did look so much like her. Why can't you hear me, Bethany? You just had to have her. Why can't you hear me? I'm here, Bethany! I'm right here! Penny, dear? Was that you? Oh, Penny, I'm so very sorry. But don't worry. You won't be lonely. I'll be around. No, no, no! Bethany! 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 